Hello friends, this is Cold Run. welcome back to a blind playthrough of Final Fantasy Dimensions, where I am feeling better, but still sound sick as hell, because I'm coming out on the back end of it. Uh, whoop. Yeah, that's gonna happen sometimes, we're at low power on the phone right now. So, uh, we're going to load this up, and continue from the end of the ninja and the start of chapter 4. Next chapter, Twilight. Dusk. Dusk, soul, twilight, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, light and dark, the whole, I see where you're going with this. Things are beginning to happen, the time is upon us. What do you mean? It's time to visit the seer in Mysidia. So I, I'm taking it that both Alba and Dusk are parts of the same uh, parts of Mysidian outreach, spydom, something like that. The legendary homeland of the mages. I thought it existed only in fables. Dusk, who exactly are you? The friendly father figure of Dr. Lugai says, They're gaining on us. He was correct. God, why won't they just leave us alone? Is there no way you can throw them off our tail? Only one way to find out. Hold on, kids. He's got, as much as anything, he's got like Final Fantasy IV Sid energy. Well, so he tried. He just failed. I'm sure he did or he did his, did his best. Yeah, that's rough. What the heck did they... What did they do? Do you not... Are your... Hmm. It's a mystery. Oh. Well. Okay, sure. They've changed their ship to ours. They wish to board us. Those are some brave soldiers. Credit to the Avalonian soldiers right there. He won't get away this time. Time to surrender, slugs. Think we give in so easily, brah? Alright, troopers. I haven't dealt done with this party in a while. I don't remember where we're at. So we'll just do some regular attack stuff. Um... Let's Berserk Soul. Oh, right, we have double cast. Yeah, we do. Sure. Get double casted on. It's such a strong ability. Especially with as much mana as Sarah has. There's no end to him. We're running out of options. Let me try something. What are you going to try, Lugai? But who's at the helm? I've put it on an automatic pilot. Getting images of airplane in my head. How can it fly without your direct input? Because I put it on automatic pilot. Oh, right, Argy. Ho ho, that's one of Argy's little tricks. Bless her. Seriously, Doc? I'll deal with the chain, kids. You worry about yourselves. Bonk, bonk. I'm guessing that these three soldiers we're seeing on the screen represent, like, a lot more. Alright, we will... Brave... What is Runic? Runic and Swift? Let's just Swift Chanty. Might as well just blast all of them, right? And we'll actually, let's... 
Berserk, it doesn't really matter, but we'll Berserk Soul for the heck of it. <laughs> nice job. Just punch it off. Punch off an anchor. Anchors are heavy as hell, aren't they? Take that, Empire. We're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet. So when are we going to hear the conversation between... Or see Dusk... Because that'll tell me when the times sync up, is when we hear Dusk talk to Alba. That'll probably be pretty soon. You got a plan? We shall head up above the clouds. You're absolutely mad. I mean, hopefully the ship can go to that altitude. Kind of a bold assumption on Dusk's part. Such skill to manipulate this vessel through cloud cover. He didn't... Is it really? I guess it... Maybe everyone can... Everyone can maybe go up there, so the assumption is, like, you're avoiding other ships. Or maybe the assumption is you're, like, hopping from cloud to cloud without being seen. That's the skill, probably. So, where to? See for yourself. Is Mesidia a cloud city? It's gotta be. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty sweet. We've even got a forest where technically a black chocobo could land. Floating island. This must be your right soul, Messidia. Chapter four. The are we going to get more jobs? I wonder. Is it going to be like chapter four? The uh, or you know, second. Because we know it's twilight, but that's the whole chapter, isn't it? Like the paladin, the ninja. Is this going to be like the blue mate? Are we going to get, like, more jobs like that? We'll see. I feel like we're approaching endgame, so not necessarily. Because we already filled up that, um... The, the list of Eidolans, didn't we? There, there were probably more. There will probably be more, though. Even if it's just optional ones. They're all optional. Let us first visit the Great Elder. Great Elder? It wouldn't, simply wouldn't do for me to leave Arky here. Yeah, you stay with her. Key. The airship, it and Arky are now one and the same. Oh, they've merged. It's very far escape. Wow, Key's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you're proud of your daughter. There's no telling when Avalon will make an appearance. We have to be ready for any contingency. Okay. Can we go see Guy? Guy will wait here for you. I appreciate that. The city, uh, don't turn me into a frog. This is the first time in generations that someone from the outside world has visited the floating city of Mesidia. Okay. So, that definitely tells me that Dusk is part of Mesidia, then. Wait, and isn't Dusk kind of dressed now? Dusk is not dressed like a white maid. She's dressed like a traveling whatever. Our great elder awaits you in the dwelling at the northernmost part of the city. Alright, so I will make sure to head there as late as possible. We've got a regular house. I'm looking for the magic first. So that's got to be, yeah, let's see what you got here. Is this multiple degrees of magic? Currently replenishing. Okay, we'll come back to you later. Ah, uh, you just have what we already... Okay. Okay. I'm excited. You're probably going to have, like, Flare and... Cure 4, whatever. Cura probably Curaga, I think, is Cure 4 in this game.
White and black magics together stabilize the world, if even one of them were to be thrown out of balance. Welcome back, Lord Dusk. What's this? Lady Alba is not with you? There's gotta be... <laughs> I'm leaning towards siblings. I'm assuming siblings rather than, like, husband and wife. I think they're still pretty young. Legends say Mesidia is a floating city, but this wasn't always... Legends say Mesidia is a floating city. That's a weird sentence. Like, you're living there. You know that it's a floating city. But that wasn't always the case. We were charged with protecting the crystal, so our ancestors called forth grab ancient powers to make the city defy gravity. Okay. So taking a look at what jobs I want to be working on for the moment. Aegis, I'm switching you immediately to Paladin. Yeah, Holy Blade protecting allies, this is what I want. This is, this is the way. And cover is a passive. That's pretty cool. What are we going to do with this? We could just do a kind of a straight up. No, let's do Bard Song. You have a fair bit of mana. No, yeah, but Bard Song means you're not doing other stuff. Sometimes it does. I think Bard Song is one because Bard Song, there's some Bard Songs that aren't like that, I think. If I'm looking at you, Bard Song. Lovely Lullaby is a one-shot deal. Aiding Anthem is not... Yeah, like, Brave, Magical, Magical. Like, both of those are... Like, you have to be committed to just doing that for your whole turn. But Runic Requiem is different. Swift Shanty is... No, Swift Shanty is like the other one. I don't know. For now, let's actually just do... Strength 20 and... Do strength 20 and counter. Soul is going to keep working on monk uh, up to 20. Sarah's going to keep going on black mage, and Dusk is going to keep going on white mage. So I think we're good for there for the moment. Uh, any, well, I'll look at fusions in a little, in a little bit, like when I'm actually ready to fight again. Wait, what weapon do you have, Aegis? Galantine, a holy... Oh, boy, oh, boy. Look at the power on that. Look at the pop on that weapon. Okay. And the fact that they even sell Asuria here makes me think that our parties are going to join up here sooner rather than later, but maybe not. I'll get a Rune Blade here. Strong versus Constructs. Constructs are like a mech stuff, right? I think they are. I like the black mages sell weapons and the white mages sell armor. What's in the inn? A save point? Interesting. So I'm guessing that we can't really leave the city without like... Okay. Okay. We got a mini person here. A gnome. Zero FP. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm a representative of the lollipop of the gnomish guild of fang collectors. So you want like a rainbow fang, like that sort of thing? Hear more. I could exchange your fangs for fang points. F as in fang, aren't we clever? Yes, you are. Small is 10, regular is 20. 30 large, 40 giant. I'm not the only fang collector, you know, but don't worry, your FP will carry over. What's this now, tails? Mere knickknacks. Someone must still, someone must want them. Best hold on to them to be safe. Okay, this seems like the sort of thing I'm not going to care about much. That I, if it's like where like once I have a guide and I know exactly what to grind for, like you could get some cool stuff. I'm sure that you can get like Excalibur if you, a leveling band or fly. Yeah, I'm sure they're all great. I'm certain they're, like, super overpowered, but probably not something I'm going to be worrying too much about in this playthrough. And, like, I've enjoyed moments like that. Like, I, I had a 100% a run of, um, like, following a guide, uh, like, after I'd beaten the game already. I had a 100% clear of 
Final Fantasy for the After Years, which was surprisingly fun. Um, despite, you know, just it was fun because on the second half, I was looking for something grindy, you know, like going for the pink blonde thing and just killing a million of them until I got the pink tail or, you know, stuff like that. But probably not for first playthrough. The secrets of this floating island are not for you to understand, outsiders. Okay, be that way. $400 a night to stay with you, or 400 gil to stay with you. Nah, I'm good. What was this? The door is sealed shut. Is this like the Serpent Road? Or we will need the Elder's approval to use it? Since this is the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Echo Grass in the Grass. I suppose by now Avalon must be aware of our existence. The Great Elder has preached that the enchantment sealing the ultimate white magic will be broken once the fabric of the world starts to unravel. Have you looked outside, my friends? The ultimate white magic. It's going to be, I guess, Kiraka? No, that's not an ultimate white magic. It should be, but I, I think they're looking for maybe talking about holy. Lord Dusk, we wait, have waited your return. The Elder is waiting to hear a detailed report of your journey. Yeah, so filling in the answers here. Crystals work in mysterious ways. Imagine such young children transformed into warriors of light. Those spells you've used along, along your journey, all of them were developed through the tireless research at Mysidia's University of Rituals and Incantations. All of them were developed there? Wow. Kudos to y'all. I would have thought some of them would, occur, would have occurred naturally. Or just be discovered by the peasantry, but no, all of them were discovered by you. Only the crystals themselves seem to know the reason for shattering for the shattering of our world. Nothing in the oh, X potion. Yeah, so these cupboards do bear fruit sometimes. Is this the elder's bedroom? Probably. A white cape. Isn't this an accessory? Oh, no, it is. Prevents an uh, accessory that prevents minion frog. Okay. Hmm. Does the elder have a teddy bear? Because that's adorable. All right, we'll head upstairs. Very upstairs. Is the elder a Moogle? Or is the elder, like, with a, when wearing one of those cryo hoods? Great Elder, I have finally returned. Sophia, so I see. Yeah, it's a cryo hood. This is the Great Elder? More like the Gaunt Girl. Soul. My dude, my bro. Do you know about how magic works? You could probably transform yourself into anything. Make yourself look however you'd like. Y you dare address the Great Elder like that? Impudent whelp! Yeah, get lit. Thundaga, right to the face. It burns! Be thankful you're a warrior of light. Things could have gone much worse for you. Uh, tell me, Dusk, what news have you? If really, I mean, soul, come on, okay. It's in character and... Uh, boy, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a, that's a rough way to go through life, soul. Unfortunately, I was left in the world of light while Lady Alba was trapped in the world of darkness. Lady Alba, but aren't the two of you siblings? I mean, even if you are, like, the Lord and Lady of the Manor, that sort of thing, right? Like, just... Like... Like Lord Alphano and Lady Alice, like the, I don't think it means that. I'm not sure why siblings would be. An argument would be like, how could you be Lord? And I guess maybe she's assuming that that, that means they're married. We are, but the situation is a bit more complicated than that. 
In addition to the crystal at Lux, we have succeeded in protecting those at Deist, Rusalka, Fabrica, and Burtgang. A total of five in all. Burtgang. You have done well, but what about Alba? Lady Alba has succeeded in protecting her charges as well. Her charges? I guess her charges are the crystals, right? Not the people. Her, her charges are the crystals. And so it shall begin. It appears so. It's so time to unlock the super white magic. And what's going to begin, brah? Another dimensional shift is set to occur. Are we going to get, like, the rejoining of the worlds? Maybe. Dimensional what now? The severed world is about to be made whole once more. And that means we'll be able to see... Yeah, you'll be able to see her again. And him. Hold on. So what exactly have you been doing all this time? We sensed that the Empire was after the crystals. I sent out Dusk and Alba to protect them from harm. So that whole time... Yes, we allowed ourselves to be captured by Avalon for the precise reason of securing the crystals. And that's why you've been acting strangely all along. Attack by Avalon? What's this? What's this? There's more airships in the air. Great Elder, the Empire's dispatched a battleship and it's heading right for us. I feared they would find us. Great Elder. Stay calm. The city won't go down as easily as our foes might hope. But preparations must be made. We cannot hold out forever. Leave it to us. We've beaten that ship once before. Now it's time to make sure it never flies again. He's right. We can do this. Shall we? Once again, they refused to consult me first. Well, we didn't know you were friggin' Lord Dusk of the Manor. If we don't respond, the city will surely fall. Now comes a true test of your skills, Warriors of Light. Alright, we got this. Probably. The city is a sacred land dedicated to magic in all its forms. How dare the Empire turn its cannons toward us? Curse Avalon, they're still waiting for us to give up our will to fight. Our spells barely scratch the surface of that monstrosity. We're running out of ideas, warriors. Help us. Slow captain at your service. Every second I can buy us helps. So you're like in charge of casting slow? It's pretty awesome. By what foul means did the Empire construct such a monstrosity? This is their battleship? Yeah. Even the mystical prowess of Mysidia cannot dent a battleship's iron hull. Really? My job is to protect Mysidia. I'll bathe the whole city in magic to keep everyone safe. I hope someone else is shelling it. Because we're getting shelled right now, it looks like. The airship in which Lord Dusk arrived must be of some use. Mayhap it will give us the opening we need. The cannon fire from the Empire's ship is relentless. Will we be able to withstand their assault? Nothing like a good Thundaga to stop machines in their tracks. Oh, that's a good idea. I have to remember that. At least that's the conventional wisdom. The Empire's ships must be equipped with magic dampeners. Smart if you're attacking the city. Uh. We'll never let them bring us down. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to give us up either. They're set on the battle. Please, Lord Dusk, you must save the city. Uh. You and your compatriots have stood up to Avalon before. We beg you, help us. Mm, are you going to sell us cool stuff now? No. I have rested a little bit, with a tent at least, and I'm ready to see what we can do. We'll check on Guy first, because we have to. Preparations for a liftoff complete. Thank you, daughter of mine. Guy is best, girl. Hey, can you lend us a hand, Doc? A simple task. We couldn't escape their grasp forever. Sid must have commissioned the Heliogabalus with the intent of destroying Mysidia. We've got to stop him. I'm pretty words you speak, my young princess, but you realize this vessel is completely unarmed. 
I was gonna say, like, it has arms. They're just these people. It doesn't need weapons, bra. It's got us. Sorry, I'll stop brawing. Like, that's the vibe I'm going for, but he doesn't. That probably gets annoying to hear. Approach it from its blind spot. We'll drop in from there. You kids are absolutely dancing mad. We won't let it get away from us this time. You can't just go barging in and expect them to hand over the key. Make your way around the back and head for the engine room. All right, we got a plan. A wise plan, Doctor. I'm familiar with the layout, kids. The paths are winding that, like with electronic gates at critical locations. Electronic gates. Doors that cannot, you cannot pass through without a, without a specific password. I'll have to go with you. There shall be no need for that. Here. Ah, Whisperweed, is it? The enchanting plant that lets two people communicate over large distances? So that's what he's been using all this time. Come on, guys, what are we waiting for? Hold on tight, let's get moving, Arky. Understood. I'm so glad she didn't die, and I hope she doesn't die from now on. Yo, Doc, why are we waving our backsides at him? To lure him, I guess? Because it'll be curtains if we approach from the front. We're counting on you, Doctor. You're talking to the great Dr. Lugai and his beloved daughter, Araki. Would we ever let you down? No, you are... Again, I'll never get over this. Like, but this is a true sentence. I don't believe Dr. Lugai will will ever fail us. Gee, please help us get there safely. Oh, Arky says it's no problem. Here we go. Okay. The Heliogabalus deck. We're safely on board. What is our next step? The aft side of the deck, hmm? Head to the north. You should see a door. So that is the door heading to the engine room. Right, but please do be careful. We'll be fine, Doctor, but I appreciate your concern. So, I wonder how we... This might be like the Star Trek uh, communicator thing. Like, how do you know where it's going to go? Like, how does Dusk tell... Well, no, this is actually probably different. I'll bet Dusk has one set of flowers for, um, for communication with Dr. Lagai and another set for, uh, for Alba. All right. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually think I'm gonna leave it here for today. I, I'm pretty, pretty tired, and, um, this is just gonna be a short one. I have a feeling the Heliogabalus might be a longer one, so, yeah, I'll call it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you as we continue on the Heliogabalus next time. Bye-bye.